The construction location in Noxon Farm is quite exposed, so wind and rain are a regular hazard. Hi, you're right. I feel it's reached uh, quite a significant stage by the fact that uh, we've got the two front legs on now as well as the two hind legs. So the beast is now self-supporting. From this we'll be able to build the neck, the big curved neck, three pieces coming off towards the front obviously, uh, and then the head hanging off that. What you see now is the, is the two front legs that project above the main backbone, the spine. The neck piece I just mentioned, that will sit down in the gap between the two projections of the legs there. I've left the little notches, the little projections to wrap slings around it if and when I need to lift each leg. So these two legs are doing a lot of the, the supporting work. There will be two other belly pieces between the front and the back legs. They'll, they're lined up over there, they'll be dragged over after the chest piece. Uh, today's task I want to, I want to shape, refine the shape of the legs a little bit more. Uh, that, particularly there, that could be a curve, it's curving the wrong way really. I want to give that sense of the, the volume of the body. Uh, possibly reduce the outer part of the shoulder and then come to natural a dimension about there. I don't want to lose any more off the lower legs. The uh, right foreleg could lose a little bit off the corners perhaps. Uh, so yeah, it's just a question of eyeing it. Uh, look at it from a distance. Chalk on and then start to nibble at it with the chainsaw. More noisy and dusty work. Yeah, okay. looking up at a bright sky obviously Diane has the task of combining the children's 32 individual designs into a single design for each pennant and included the black bear image in the Lancastrian pennant. Photographs were sent to Kennard Engineering in Tewkesbury who will make the lances and their pennants. We received the images of the pennants from Diane by email. This is the actual full size TIFF file we received. The white areas represent the areas that the children would have cut out from the paper using scissors and what we need to do is replicate that by cutting the areas from formula to thick aluminium and the ideal tool we thought to use for that would be our water jet machine. The first stage we need to do is to convert the actual black and white drawing into a CAD drawing which is a series of lines and arcs and circles. The red areas show where the actual cut is going to take place. Once I produce the actual CAD drawing, I can load it into the programming software and that produces the cutting path for the machine. And then I can load it into the actual software that the water jet machine itself runs. Hello, my name's Gary Ring. I'm Operations Manager for Kennard Engineering in Tewkesbury. And I'd just like to say what a pleasure it is to help out the Battlefield Society in their endeavour to put this sculpture up in Tewkesbury. We're only too pleased to help and do what we can. And it does give our guys the opportunity to display their work in public. Hello. We're in the process of water jetting the profile for the pennant using the Flow Mac 3 water jet machine, of which Richie, the setter operator of this machine, the water comes out the jet at about 2,000 miles per hour, and it, in with the water is mixed a garnet, which creates like a grinding action, which actually does the cutting. So we'd like to thank 
the children from Tilbrook School for making the patterns and the shapes so intricate it became a much more challenging event. Scarcely got the maypole down when the military came to toot the town. The Queen then wasn't Elizabeth II, but the French Queen, Margaret of Anjou. She should have stayed looking sheep or full of the arts gastronomy. Nobles and princes of the blood spilled their entrails in the mud. And village lads from far and wide came to fight on either side. Some for adventures and some for fun. The year was 1471. 500 years later, give or take, came a developer on the make. Executive homes would look grand on this green and pleasant land. With golf club views and leafy lanes, not to mention sewage drains, up spoke a citizen, Stephen G. This is not right. This shall not be. This battlefield is great renown. Let's have a meet. Turn it down. The planner was not a happy bunny. To thwart his plans was not funny. So up it went to the good and great, to someone not of dainty weight. Bold Yorkshireman Prescott John said nay. This shall not go on. The battlefield was then secure. Let's have some statues to add a lure. So the visitors know they're here before the abbey does appear. Sir Phil Bewes, an arty bloke, will make us horses of steel and oak. One for York and one for Lanx. Please accept our grateful thanks for supporting our worthy cause to commemorate ancient wars. Now that's it. <laughs> <laughs>